You've never seen a talking gargoyle before? Welcome to Illuminati headquarters. I mean, Denver International Airport. The Denver Airport. Oh, yes. Let's go. They used to have these murals put up, but they have since taken it down because it got... Not me accidentally finding the Denver Airport back rooms. Like, this shit just keeps going on. The Denver Airport. Oh, yes. Let's go. They used to have these murals put up, but they have since taken it down because it got just way too much. Like, what the heck am I looking at? I'm just going to describe some of the things that were in these murals. Oh, no. Huge. This is terrible. Okay. This was in the airport. Kids would have seen this. Yes. Everyone, Everyone would have seen this. Got it. Okay. Children in coffins. Oh, my gosh. A forest in a city on fire. Uh, a child holding a Mayan tablet depicting the end of the world. Nice. What? A Nazi wearing a gas mask. What? Okay. Holding a sword that was stabbing a dove. Not tasteful. There was a mural of the children all over the world who had killed the Nazi, and they were bringing their weapons wrapped in their country's flag to a little German boy. Why? Who was at the center of it with a with a hammer. What? Can we just like a hammer like, like a communism? Yeah. When you tell these stories, I'm often thinking this isn't real. But as you're talking, I'm pulling up every single one of these images. I'm telling you, this is this is so terrible. But the one with the Nazi, it was showing like people that were like starving, and there was a woman holding her um, baby. deceased baby. Oh my gosh, this that's is that's what horrible. I'm saying. Like, horrible. why is this in the air? You're in Colorado. Draw some mountains, buddy. Oh that's God. what I'm saying. Not me accidentally finding the Denver airport back rooms. Like this shit just keeps going on and on. The ceilings are all so low. Like what the hell? Okay. And it keeps going. Yo, where the fuck am I? Like, okay, this says that there's a gate right there, but there's literally nothing right here. This airport is just so fucking weird. When I got to the Denver airport, I had a layover that was about 12 hours. And so me thinking, oh, I'm just gonna spend the night and just sleep on one of the airport chairs. In the middle of the A terminal, I find these like chairs or sofas that are kind of meant for people to sleep on. And when I got there, there were so many people there that I walked to the very end because I looked up on Google that there's like little beds at the very end that you can sleep on. Not only did I walk in the wrong direction, but I walked towards the A99 gate, which takes you underground or more so to say towards the first floor. My gate was A50 and I was trying to sleep towards there. But when I got down there is when I got trapped in those back rooms where it was just it felt like tunnels on tunnels on tunnels, or I was walking down the longest hallway ever designed by man. Now, how I got out is I took an elevator and it took me up to the second floor. But when I got out and I got to baggage claim is when I found those fucking murals. To Denver International Airport. So the next thing we're gonna do is talk about the tunnels. There are six underground layers and possibly more. And it's thought that the tunnels that exist underneath go all the way from Colorado Springs Air Force Base to the Air Force Base on Cheyenne Mountain. There's theorized to be bunkers down here and that it's potentially made as a safe place for the world's elite during the apocalypse. A huge part of this theory lies with author Alex Christopher. She met some people at a conference in Denver who were able to take her down to the tunnels. She took her friend Phil Schneider with her. And down there, they were able to get pictures. I'll insert them here. But not long after this, Schneider apparently unalived himself. Which again, after coming out with this information, is extremely suspicious. Also, there was five buildings that were originally built for the airport, but didn't quite work out. So instead of destroying these buildings, they just buried them. And then continued to build on top of them. Even the constructor was very confused on why he was requested to do this. So because of this, how do we know how many extra buildings or hangars there are? And what exactly are the specific conspiracy theories surrounding this apocalyptic-themed airport? Denver International Airport is the most monstrous conspiracy theory. I don't know whether to start with the fact that it's twice the size of Boston, Miami, and San Francisco, or that every several months during construction, they switched contractors so that no one knows the full layout of the airport. Not to mention, there's at least five buildings that they decided to bury, and there's potentially hundreds of underground bunkers. So I'll just start it off simply with the terrifying artwork in this airport. Denver Airport welcomes you with this environment 
inviting 32 foot 9,000 pound statue of this demonic horse with red eyes nicknamed Lucifer. This possessed statue essentially murdered its creator when a piece of it fell off during construction and severed its artery. A lot of people believe that it represents one of the four horsemen who will usher in the apocalypse which seems far-fetched until you see the artwork they have in the Denver airport. What better way to get in the mood for a flight than to walk past this mural of a soldier stabbing a dove holding a rifle standing over unconscious children? The gas mask and decaying city are also a nice touch. Phone is rebelling because it was supposed to update months ago and I keep putting it off so it won't let me post the second even more terrifying picture but I'll post it tomorrow along with even crazier stuff. <laughs> If you were at the Denver airport and accidentally found a huge secret underground bunker, what would you do? So there's this conspiracy theory about how the Denver airport has a giant secret underground bunker for the elites in case a doomsday event happens. This idea comes from the fact that the airport was supposed to be built with a large underground structure, but that part was allegedly destroyed. However, there's hallways in the airport that seem to go nowhere, unless there's actually a bunker entrance there. And Denver would be a strategically good place for a bunker as it's virtually impenetrable in a nuclear war due to its high altitude. Plus, there's other weird things about the airport like this horse statue that people call Lucifer that literally had its head fall off during its creation killing the maker and those really weird paintings which depict doomsday events that are there too. Also a lot of people say Obama was there in 2011 whenever that comet passed really close to earth so it's really weird. What do you think? Things I hate about the Denver airport. Starting with this sculpture of a horse that fell upon and killed its own sculptor. And yes, its eyes actually glow red like that. This is the dedication capstone for the airport. It has the symbol of the Freemasons on it. It also says that buried underneath it is a time capsule to be unveiled for the people of Colorado in the year of 2094. Neither of those things are as creepy as the fact uh, that it says the primary patron for the airport uh, is the New World Airport Commission, an organization that we have no record exists or has ever existed. The unnecessarily unsettling social critique murals. This set is called Children of the World Dream of Peace. And this set is called In Peace and Harmony with Nature. Why? And then I was told, Max, guess what? The runways kind of look like a swastika. And I was like, probably not. And, 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 and. Well, the final cost for this airport was $4.8 billion-ish, which was about $2 billion more than it was estimated to cost based on the scope of the project. Also, they finished 16 months behind schedule because they kept firing contractors and then hiring new ones. Like, I mean, it's not like, I mean, it's not like that would have made it like super easy for no one to actually know the full scope of what was being built in and under the airport with those $2 billion. And in 2014, they charged me $12 for a dry prepackaged ham and turkey sandwich. Okay, I understand that this is airport food. Okay, but like $7. Like, eight dollars. That's outrageous for a dry prepackaged sandwich. Twelve?! Only Satan would charge twelve- The Denver airport theory is so creepy. No one knows why it was built because Denver already had a fully functioning airport in downtown. But this one went two billion dollars over budget and took two years longer than expected to finish. It's rumored that it cost so much because it has a five-story underground facility, which might be a doomsday bunker for the elite and rich or something much worse. But airport officials claim that it's just an underground baggage system that was never used. Throughout the airport, there's also disturbing and eerie murals depicting things like destruction and the apocalypse, and several gargoyle statues which are said to be symbols of protection. But the creepiest is this blue Mustang statue named Lucifer. It's 32 feet tall with glowing red eyes, and when the artist was making it, the head fell over him, which instantly killed him. But they still finished the statue and put it up. The airport also has two secret runways, which are believed to be used by the government. And there's even a time capsule from 1994 buried inside, which can't be opened until 2094, which might finally explain all of these secrets. What do you think they're hiding in the Denver airport? My uncle used to own the land it was built on. Wait, what? So there was an airport in Colorado, an international airport already, that worked perfectly fine, but they decided one day, hey, we're going to move it, and we're going to make it way far away from Denver. It's like half oh, an, it's, it's so like 45 far, minutes outside of Denver. 
it's the middle of freaking nowhere. Exa- you just like, like it's it's so far away, and I I never understood why. Exactly. But maybe you're gonna tell me. So they could build underneath it, and they could build this facility. But um, that's beside the point. My uncle actually owned, but not all of it, but majority of the land it was built on. So. And he owned a, a farm and a, a, or a ranch out there and a, like a decent house. And one day, he literally said, one day, a man came to his door and said, hey, we're looking to buy this property. Um, didn't tell him why. He said, we're looking to buy this property, I guess they said for like commercial or something. And he was confused because he lived in the middle of nowhere. He said it was like 15 minutes to like a mom and pop grocery store. Mm-hmm. And of course, since this ha- since the airport was built, like the town uh, towns have sprung up around it, but like. At the time, it was it was it was it's very rural. It, it still I, is, though. I mean, it's really really hard to get anywhere. Yeah, it's, from the Denver airport. And like he was like okay, and so uh, he said no at first, and then because they didn't say he was like no, I'm not selling. But then they came back and they paid him, and there's like no value really in the land. It's just land. They offered him um, three million dollars. Whoa! Three million dollars. And he went, well, f- he goes, well, I'm out of here. And he, now he yeah. has a big old house and he retired. I can, I can picture it like, you know, he puts on, he puts on his hat, he puts on his raincoat, grabs his briefcase and pew, he's he, out. He's like, he goes, we'll offer you $3 million. You know what? You can have my wife too. I, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> so that's actually my aunt. WT. Let's talk about the Denver airport. Uh, I'm not a conspiracy theorist guy, but here's some things for you to consider. The Denver airport, for some reason, is by far the largest airport in the country at 135 square kilometers. Number two, about half as small, is Dallas-Fort Worth at 69 square kilometers. Why is it so big? People also talk about how the runways are shaped. A little weird, but you know, you have one east, one west, one south, one north. Take it with a grain of salt. The dedication stone, which is just behind the security line at the Denver airport, is 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 this. It has the Freemason symbol on it. But wait, what is what is that? That says New World Airport Commission. If you Google that, it's it's not an actual thing, but just take it with a grain of salt. But when I was a kid, whenever I'd fly out of the Denver airport, I would see this. See, they used to have this mural and several others up at the airport. Just take that with a grain of salt. Here's one of the other ones. I, it's just probably not what you want to see on your way to a flight, but take it with a grain of salt. Here's what I really want to talk about. The Denver airport finished a year and a half behind schedule and cost about $2 billion more than it was originally set out to cost. Inflation adjusted, that's equal to not one, but two Dallas Cowboy stadiums. One of the biggest stadiums in all of sports. Just take it with a grain of salt. Oh yeah, and then last but not least, we have this weird guy, Blucifer, that stands out in front of the airport. The sculptor that was working on it died while making it. Again, take everything with a grain of salt. I'm sure everything is normal. 